What's going on guys? My name is Mitch Robs and welcome to Plankerton Endurance. Alright, so I have a pretty much AFKable uh, Plankerton Endurance. I say pretty much AFKable because UFO on wave 5 we have to kill it. No ifs, ands, buts about it unless I'm exploiting the game. Uh, we're not taking out that, uh, we're taking out that UFO. Which, uh, I mean, if anybody has any, like, builds or anything for d -amp, uh, like, to get past the UFO, let me know. That's gonna be crucial. But, uh, for right now, after Wave 5, this is gonna be, uh, afk -able. On Wave 5 of Plankerton Endurance, uh, we find the UFO spawns at this amp in the far southwest corner. So, I'm going to show you guys how I deal with it. I use Metal Marauders with all damage rolls and 80% bonus damage based on the percentage uh, missing of your health i just i run three of them like this you shouldn't need it for uh plankard or for plankard and endurance you should only need one shot to kill it but we're gonna have to be vigilant about how the ufo spawns and i'll show you guys exactly what happens when a ufo breaks our builds so uh right when the wave starts there is going to be a ufo and it's very imperative that you actually take it out or it's going to destroy a lot of stuff so the first thing is first, you got to listen to sound clues when you're in here. So right when this wave starts, we're going to be whipping around trying to find this. Uh, so we have our platform set up here that we AFK on and our, put our base on to Mac grind. But the UFO is going to spawn. So this UFO is right above us. We take it out with one shot. Easy enough. If you have a rocket launcher, it's not going to be bad. But if that UFO gets to where it needs to be, it's going to destroy a lot of your builds and destroy a lot of your trap tunnels. So if you don't take it out... Uh, for example, I've had it destroy my mat grinder where I AFK, or I had it destroy like a piece of my tunnel that's pretty important, or I've had it just frankly destroy my entire tunnel. So you definitely have to uh, pay attention to it. Uh, next we'll show up what happens if it destroys your tunnel. This is what happens if you leave it be. So the UFO will go, right? It'll hover over a point of your trap tunnel or whatever, uh, and it'll release a, a beam that destroys your entire base. But look, it's going to go over its spot. Uh, I could have shot at any point right here. But when we see it, it's going to go over its location. It's going to stop. Okay, it's never going to stop. What the hell's going on? <laughs> it's going to stop, and it's going to laser beam the shit out of my tunnel. It's going to destroy a lot of my tunnel, and it's going to release a mini boss. With that, it's going to gonna happen multiple times. And it's just going to keep destroying my base. So uh, that's why we take out the UFO and why we can't AFK can you, or Plankerton Endurance unless it's past wave 5 and we take out the UFO. It's really easy to take it out, just flick shot a, a UFO. Just keep shooting rockets at it and it won't take it out. But that UFO will destroy a lot of your trap tunnels. Right there, it was going to destroy the back of this trap tunnel right here. So this would have been an ineffective trap tunnel after that. So that's, that's why we uh, would destroy the UFO. So we're going to be talking about Home Base North, the Storm Shield. Alright, so we're going to go through a pass through of the tunnels real quick, uh, show you guys exactly what we're going to be doing and why we're going to be doing it. So we made two symmetrical tunnels here. They're just going to be mirrored backwards, but first we're going to have like a little bit of a ceiling drop trap spawn trap placed in little specific points just so that uh, like A, like we can kill off uh, the husk before they get to the tunnel in early waves and then B, so later waves like for smashers and stuff all the durability will be here for like the smashers and big husks so first we're going to go through the right side tunnel there's going to be timeout room with the uh, sound walls these are going to be staggered sound walls so they're going to be different rolls on them and then we're going to come into a triple di triple timeout room like damage tunnel uh with just a bunch of aoe we're going to keep going forward there's going to be a sound wall to stun the uh the smasher whatever gets through here we're going to keep going forward and there's going to be just an extra screw you damage tunnel then it's going to come out here. Then we're going to have a symmetrical tunnel as well on the left side. So if we look, it's going to be the same exact design. There's going to be the timeout room with sound walls. There's going to be the three timeout rooms here for damage. Then they're going to come to a room with the wall darts shooting through wall darts. And then they come to the damage tunnel. All right. So now we're going to go over the spawns and how to build this. And uh, what exactly block off is. So the spawns for this tunnel are going to be... All across this back area, all across this back ridge right here. There's no real special spawns uh, for the home base north, which is kind of cool because uh, we don't really have to like take in <laughs> into any weird considerations like other amps. But just across this entire back ridge, that's where we're going to find all of the spawns. So there's going to be two uh, concepts we're going to utilize for block off here. One's going to be called a sandwich. We're basically going to have a cone tile like this. We're going to edit it to protect from two directions. 
and then we're going to surround it in walls. This is going to be called a half sandwich. Uh, this is relatively important as there's three layers in between the husks and their objectives. Say they want to go north right here, right? They have to break through one, two, three th different things to get to their north objective. So this is just going to provide a disincentive to get through that. As well as we're going to have a thing called a full sandwich. Uh, this is just going to add an edited floor tile in there. So say that we wanted to protect from the north. They can't walk through this, right? So we're going to add a cone tile here. We're going to protect. Then we're going to surround it in walls. So they have to break through four different things. One, two, three, four. So uh, what that's going to allow us to do is add more block off in a short amount of space. So now let's uh, talk about how to build the tunnels and uh, how we should do it. We'll go over the spawn trap when we talk about the lobby shield. But let's go over how to build the tunnels and then how to build the block off. All right. So first things first, we're going to find this two little tile long ridge here. All right. We're going to go directly south of it to the bottom of this ugly little ridge. And we're going to start by placing a wall. This is going to be the center of uh, our symmetrical trap tunnel. All right. So we're going to go directly to the right of that. And we're going to place a floor tile. This is going to have wooden floor spikes on it. Blue wooden floor spikes. Uh, relatively important. Which I should probably actually go over my traps real quick, real quick that we used in this video. So we use anti-air traps. Um, these are going to be different roles because I have different roles for my friend. Uh, we're actually going to use two ranges, a damage, reload speed, two durabilities uh, on the rolls versus my rolls. So keep that in mind. Try to perk it this way. We're going to use broadsides. These are going to be element, physical, damage, crit damage, crit rating, reload speed, increased building health. We're going to have two ceiling drop traps. One's going to be the double durability kind with a reload speed, a crit rating, and crit damage. And then we're going to have another one that's going to be crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, and durability. We're going to be using ceiling electric fields. These are going to be element energy, crit rating, reload speed, damage, crit damage, and increased building health. Uh, the last one should be uh, increased durability for you guys because we don't really have to worry about the increased, uh, durability, or increased building health at the moment. We're going to use Ceiling Zappers. Ceiling Zappers are going to have Element Energy, Damage, Crit Damage, Crit Rating, Reload Speed, and Durability. We're going to be using Retractable Floor Spikes. These are just have Crit Rating, Crit Damage, Damage, Reload Speed, and Durability. We're going to use two Sound Wall Schematics. One with uh, all Durability and two Reload Speed. And then another one with only one Reload Speed. And the last perk taken changed out with Durability. What this is going to allow us to do is have uh, staggered wall sound walls. So when they get launched into my little timeout rooms we'll go over, uh, those uh, husks will uh, stagger the wall traps and they'll go off at separate times. So we don't have to worry about uh, like one husk using two trap durabilities. We're going to use tar pits. These are going to have all durability on them. You don't need anything else on it. There's going to be wall darts. These are going to have crit rating, crit damage, crit rating, durability, and the last perk, increased building health, you can have on it if you want, but I mean, it's not necessary. We're going to use wall dynamos. These are going to have crit rating, crit damage, crit damage, reload speed, durability. We're going to have two different types of wall launchers. We're going to have three times impact, two times reload speed, one durability, and then we're going to have uh, all durability, two reload speed. There's going to be wall lights in this as well, and these are just going to have two times reload speed, uh, one impact, two durability, and one effect duration. Then we have wooden floor spikes. Uh, these are going to be uh, like my 130 ones, but we also have blue wooden floor spikes that have all durability, no uh, damage perks added to it. But all right, let's get into the trap tunnel. So we, we placed our wall already uh, in the center. So across from this little two, uh, two by one area, at the bottom of this ridge, we're going to place a wall. We're going to come over and we're going to place a floor with a blue wooden floor spikes on it. To the left of that is going to be a wall launcher. This is going to have all durability rolls on it and two reload speed. Because uh, if a smasher walks in here, he's not going to get pushed all the way into here. Uh, what we really care about is the propane husks getting hit by this wall launcher and get sitting into here. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to put this is the two reload speed sound wall and this is the one reload speed sound wall. And then on the back side of this is going to be a two reload speed sound wall. So it's going to be uh, floor, wall, floor, wall, wall, wall. We're going to go into the tunnel. We're going to place a floor with a wooden floor spike, a blue wooden floor spike. To the left is going to be a three times impact, two times reload speed wall launcher. Above is going to be a ceiling electric field, another ceiling electric field. Across from that is going to be a wall dart. To the right is going to be a wall dart. 
On the bottom is going to be a retractable floor spike. And to the left is going to be an edited low wall, which I'll show you that edit. Just all these six tiles taken off. And that on that is going to be a wall dynamo. We're going to move over to the... Okay, then we're going to have another uh, a quarter low wall, which is going to be all six tiles taken above and then one tile to the uh, right. And we're going to place that here. What this is going to allow us to do is if smashers walk along this right side, they get booped by this wall launcher. They're going to take one, two steps over, and they're going to end up in all these traps. So we're going to keep going forward. There's going to be a wooden floor spike. There's going to be a wall launcher with three times impact, two times reload speed, ceiling electric field, a ceiling electric field, a wall dart, an edited low wall to the right with a wall dynamo, an edited wall to or wall dynamo to the left with a edited low wall, and then a retractable floor spike. We're going to go to the next, the timeout room. It's going to be a tar pit, a three times impact uh, wall launcher, a ceiling electric field, a ceiling electric field, a wall dart across from it, a wall dart shooting off to the right, and then a retractable floor spike, and then the wall dynamo on the low wall. We're going to keep going forward. There's going to be a tar pit, a wall dart to the right, and uh. A window in the middle with a ceiling uh, or with a wall di or wall light on the on the wall. There's going to be a ceiling electric field above, and shooting through that's going to be a, a wall dart past it, one tile to the past it. And we'll go over uh, exactly the placement of that in a second. We're going to take a left. There's going to be a tar pit, and to the left of that is going to be a wall dart, and above that we're going to have a ceiling zapper. So then we're going to take a right to the south, and it's going to be a tar pit with an edited wall wall to the left. Uh, this is going to have a wall dynamo, and an edited wall, low wall to the right with a wall dynamo. We're going to take a tile to the west. There's going to be a wall dart shooting across into this tunnel with a ceiling zapper above. And to the left of that, there's going to be a wall dart shooting through this window down that tunnel. And that's pretty symmetrical on this left side, too. So there's the wall dart shooting into the tunnel. There's going to be the wall dart shooting onto this... Uh, little tar pit and then there's going to be a ceiling electric field above what this is going to allow us to do is anything that steps into this tar pit is going to trigger both wall dynamos both ceiling electric fields a ceiling zapper and then the wall darts all right and then we keep going forward there's going to be a blank tile and then there's a wall dart we're going to surround our entirety of our amp and walls as well so all of the amps surrounded in walls uh, this is just to make sure if there's any stray husks that somehow get past this, they have to beat through a layer of walls uh, to get through it. As well as if there's layer walls around our amplifier, smashers aren't charging our tunnels. Alright, so now we're going to go all the way to uh, the start again, and we're going to go to the left. This is going to mimic the same exact tunnel we had over here, so we're going to go through it a little bit quicker. But uh, it's going to be to the left of our, um, of our starting wall. So we're going to place a blue wooden floor spike... All durability wall launcher, staggered sound walls, and then on the back side of the uh, north side one, there's going to be a two times reload speed sound wall. We're going to go in here, there's going to be the fuller spike, three times impact, two times reload speed wall launcher, ceiling electric field, ceiling electric field, wall dart, wall dart, retractable floor spike, wall dynamo, uh, stagger recyclers, and our edited low walls. We're going to have wooden floor spike, three times impact, two times reload speed, wall launcher, ceiling electric field, ceiling electric field, wall dart, edited low wall with wall dynamo, wall dynamo, retractable floor spikes, tar pit, three times impact, two times reload speed, wall launcher, ceiling electric field, ceiling electric field, retractable floor spike, wall dynamo, wall dart, wall dart. We're going to go to the south. There's going to be a tar pit, a wall dart, a wall light with a edited window. A ceiling electric field, we're going to go to the right, to the west, and there's going to be a tar pit, a wall dart, ceiling zapper. We already have placed these, and then we're going to get to our screw you tunnel, where if anything makes it this far, they're just going to get nuked. All right, so that should be the trap tunnels. Uh, those are pretty basic and uh, really not too hard to make. Next, we're going to go over the block off, and like uh, then we're going to go over the lava shield. Then we're going to go about making caveats to this, which are pretty, pretty crucial. So the first thing's first. We're going to start at the left side of this tunnel, and we're going to start doing block off. So, if we're at our uh, sound wall that we placed on the north side of uh, our timeout room, we're going to take one tile over and then one tile to the south. We're going to start our block off. So, we're going to uh, create a half sandwich here with a cone facing the northeast surrounded in walls. We're going to take a tile back to the south, and we're going to have a... Uh, 
half sandwich here so walls surrounding a uh, cone facing the northeast with no wall on the east side we're gonna have a cone uh with the two sides taken out to the north uh surrounded in walls and what this is gonna allow us to do is we're gonna have the same amount of layers but we just don't need this mid wall uh all right so next we're gonna hop over to the east one tile and we're gonna have a half sandwich with a cone facing the northeast surrounded in walls so now we're gonna take a step back to the south there's going to be a half sandwich with the, uh, the cone facing the northeast and surrounded in walls. We're going to take a step to the west. There's going to be a cone uh, facing the north, surrounded in walls, and then another cone facing the northeast, surrounded in walls. We're going to uh, take a step back to the south. There's going to be a cone facing the northeast, a ramp facing the north, and a cone facing the northwest. This is all going to be surrounded in walls. Now, underneath the cone uh, to the far east, if we hop down here, there's going to be an edited uh, floor piece uh, with the two tiles taken out from the north. Uh, this is going to so be so that if husks walk down here uh, to go down this little ramp, that they're blocked by this floor. All right. So then we're going to have a wall down at the end of this ramp. We're going to have a wall here. And then we're going to have another edited floor tile uh, with it taken out from the north. Then there's going to be a wall behind that. As well as if we come back up, there's going to be a edited cone piece facing the northwest to the west of that uh, floor piece. As well as a cone facing the northeast. And this is all going to be surrounded in walls. There's also going to be at the top of this ramp, there's going to be a floor and a cone facing the northwest. And then another cone facing the northeast. And this is going to be surrounded in walls. Except for right here. Uh, Alright. And then we're going to have a wall back here. Uh, and then a wall to our south. And a wall uh, to the east. So we'll, we'll hover real quick. I know that was a lot. Well, actually, we'll build a platform up because I'm not running links. So. Pew, 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 pew. And then we'll go up one. So if we look at this, there's going to be uh, all of this. So you should probably take a screenshot of this to build it. It's a little bit complex of block up, but it's not that bad. And as well as I think we forgot to mention this, but at this little uh, cone ramp uh, cone uh, section right here to the left of this, there's going to be a cone facing the northeast. But here, I'll give you guys one, another opportunity to take a screenshot or whatever you guys like to do. For building it i know it gets a little bit intense building these types of things all right so that should be that and then if we come to this little edge right here this is block off for uh the amp right here uh, for this b amp that uh goes from the east that's block off for there because we shoot them all the way down to here they bounce right here and then they hit against this wall and then they walk all the way back up that ramp so that's what that block off for as well as our AFK point, we have a specific AFK point uh, for this amp, uh, which is over there on that mat grinder uh, in the sky that looks like a UFO. Uh, so we have to protect against that as assassin husks, like the little baby husks, will target us versus like uh, everybody else versus like going through the tunnels. So we have measures through that. So the husks that are over here, there's going to be wall spikes starting at our sound wall. We're going to go over to the left one. There's going to be a wall spike on this wall. I just have consistent damage rolls on these. I just have all damage rolls and heals attached building health. So there's going to be a wall spike there. And a wall spike all the way surrounding these. What this is going to allow us to do is if any little small ass comes and hits on this, they just die in one shot and it heals back up. All right, and then we're going to start off on the block off on the left side of the tunnel. So if we come all the way over to the west, we're going we're gonna to go over the block off now. So we're going to start behind our timeout room on the, uh, on the west side. We're going to have a cone facing the northeast surrounded in walls. We're going to take a step back uh, to the south. And we're going to have a cone facing the northwest. Uh, to the west, we're going to have a cone facing the north. To the west, we're going to have a cone facing the north. To the west, we're going to have another cone facing the north. And then another step to the west, there's going to be a cone facing the northeast. This is all going to be surrounded in walls. All of that's going to be surrounded in walls. We're going to take a step back to the south. We're going to have the same exact thing where we're going to have a cone facing the northwest. 
One cone facing the north, another cone facing the north, three cones facing the north, and then a cone facing the northeast, and that's all going to be surrounded in walls. So that should be our block off for over here, as well as we're going to have a wall right here, because I've had husks come through this little uh, gap. I don't know how they do it. They don't do it anywhere else, but they do it right there. So we, we're just going to put a wall there. All right, so that should be the block off for this tunnel. It's really not too hard. Um, and... Uh, it's, it's relatively easy, actually. It's uh, the, the right side's a little bit more complex than the left side. But on this side, we're going to have wall spikes lining all of this. So you'll have a pitcher husk that just throws at this wall every once in a while. No idea why, but I just put a wall spike with healing uh, builds attached on it. Then we're going to have wall spikes all along these. This one they don't hit on for some reason, but we'll, we can just put it there for uh, you guys that are a little bit on the OCD side. We'll put a wall spike there, but I'm going to put a wall spike on all of these because the assassin husks will want to beat on these walls to get to us all the way over there at that AFK platform. So we can just have consistent damage rolled wall spikes and they'll hit on it and just die and they'll heal back up. All right. Now we get to go over the lava shield slash bond trap. This is where the build gets a little bit confusing, if I'm going to be honest. But bear with me, guys. This will be a little bit easy. Oh, shit. We forgot to go over this block off. Okay. So behind this starting wall that we placed, there's going to be a ramp facing the north. We're going to surround that in walls. Behind that, there's going to be another ramp facing the north, uh, a wall, a, nor a ramp facing the north, a wall, and a ramp facing the north. This is just in between your two tunnels that you built. There should be like a one by... Uh, three gap in there and we just put ramps and walls so the husks don't try to come through the middle here and just break through towards the amplifier all right so now we're going to go over the lobber shield uh this is going to get a little bit confusing so we're going to start uh at the center i think that's going to be the best we're going to go one two three high with that all right so that's going to be our base uh base thing base ramp uh it's going to be three high off of the our first piece of block off we're going to go over to the left. We're going to place two walls. These are going to have nothing on them. So if we look at it, there's going to have nothing on these two walls. We're going to jump up. There's going to be a, a floor and a floor. These floors are going to have the uh, have the two durability uh, floor. What are they called? Ceiling drop traps on them. They're going to have ceiling drop traps on them. So when husks co come into this tunnel, into this propane uh, timeout room, they're going to get the ceiling drop traps to drop onto them. We're going to have a wall here with a floor attached. This is also going to have a ceiling drop trap. And to the left of that, there's going to be a ramp. We're going to come up a tile. There's going to be one wall, two wall, and we're going to have uh, floors attached to those. All right. So now we're up to here and we have all these tiles built right here. All right. So we're going to drop back down again. So we've placed these two tiles. We're going to go one tile to the north. And we're just going to place a wall and attach it there. Then we're going to come over to the left. There's going to be one, two, three, four ramps facing the north. And then there's going to be a cone facing the northeast. We're going to go up to the... Uh, uh, we're going to go to the north a little bit. There's going to be one tile. And we're going to go one tile up. There's going to be a wall and a wall. And then there's going to be another wall right here uh, to the east. We're going to jump up and there's going to be uh, floors with uh, anti-air traps here. There's uh, space rocks on this amp, C amp. Uh, and they sometimes hit the block off over here on um, on our home shield or our home base storm shield. So we just put anti-air traps up there so that uh, block off doesn't get hit. We're going to go off to the uh, east. We're going to see that there's an edited wall piece that is into a triangle that you can put right here. I just like to close it off the gap and leave no gaps pretty much anywhere. But we're going to have a ramp. One, two, three, three ramps, and then another fourth ramp. Uh, and that should be connected to um, our ramp over here that we had. All right. And then once we're here, we have already have all of this built over here, right here. We're gonna have a ramp to the or a wall to the left of this. Then we're gonna have a ramp, one, two, three ramps. All right. And then to the right of this third ramp, we're gonna attach a floor to a wall. 
where this is going to have a ceiling drop trap on it. All of these are going to have ceiling drop traps on them unless I specify otherwise. So we're going to start here. We're going to have a one, two, three, uh, by one, two. Yeah, we're going to have one, two, three. So like a three by three right here grid of uh, ceiling drop traps. So let me do that. Boom, boom, boom. All of those, I want to say, will have ceiling uh, drop traps on them. Where is the other spot that doesn't? Okay, those two spots don't. So all of these are going to have uh, ceiling drop traps on them. This uh, spawn trap's a little bit confusing because I only built it in a way that like the husks travel. Uh, so you guys don't have to worry about overusing mats. So we're going to go to the far northeast corner of that 3x3 you built. We're going to go out one, two tiles. These are going to have ceiling drop traps on them. And then we're going to go east one tile and then have another tile to the south. So it's going to be a 2x2 two two grid right here. It's going to be attached uh, at the northeast corner of this build. So it's going to be right here. So we're going to attach that 2x2 two two there. We're going to start at the southeast corner of that 2x2 two two we just made. We're going to go one tile to the south and one tile to the east. This is going to be a 2x1 of ceiling drop traps. After we go uh, to the south one more tile, this is going to be a blank tile that has no ceiling drop trap on it because it's on this elevated portion right here where there's no spawns. And same with this one. There's going to be uh, no spawns on this, so there's no point in ceiling drop trapping it. All right, so we put that two by one grid there with no ceiling drop traps. We're going to go to the east one tile there's going to be a ceiling drop trap here we're going to go to the south one tile there's going to be a ceiling drop trap here and then there's going to go to the west one tile there's going to be a ceiling drop trap here so we'll uh i'll try to give you guys an aerial shot of this of the like spawn trap where the ceiling drop traps go just so you guys have a clear vision of what we're doing here so if you can see there's that three by three grid that we were talking about there's a two by two grid up here there's a 1x2 uh, grid here. There's no ceiling drop trap on these two. And then there's a little L shape right here with ceiling drop traps. All right. So that should be the, the spawn trap of it. So we're going to go over the right side uh, lobby shield as well. And we'll get rid of all these cones real quick. All right, so now we have to go over the uh, lobby shield on this right side, which really isn't too crazy. So we're going to start at our middle uh, three ramps that we had. We're going to go over to the right. There's going to be two walls. Uh, attached to these two walls are going to be two floors. These are going to have ceiling drop traps. Then there's going to be two more walls attached to the north of those. There's going to be two more floors. Uh, the right one's going to have a ceiling drop trap and the left one's not. Uh, not too sure why this one doesn't. I think uh, it disappeared. So we're going to actually put a ceiling drop trap on that. Because uh, I feel like that's an important ceiling drop trap. So we're going to find one out of my inventory. And we're going to place that up there. Alright. So and this should attach with walls uh, to our uh, previous spawn trap. We're going to go all the way back down here. We're going to have our walls already placed here. We're going to go to the right one tile. And there's going to be a ramp here. Uh, this is going to be over top of uh, one of our block offs. There's going to be one, two, three ramps over. All right. We're going to go up one tile. There's going to be one, two ramps. Now, why is this uh, only two ramps and not a third ramp right here? Well, we're going to have a little box right here because uh, our A amp from the north has a little recycler here that will send the husks all the way into this and they'll drop down. So we, we had to make a little box there. So on the, that third uh, ramp, we're going to attach a wall to it, a little triangle wall, and then a floor above it. We're going to be up here, and there's going to be one, two, three ramps, and there's going to be nothing above it. That should be our lobber shield, and that should be most of uh, what's going on with this amp. But uh, here we go. We're going to go over uh, like the caveats of this. So realistically, we're going to be uh, AFKing up in this tower over here uh, in the far southwest of the map. So the assassin husks are going to target us. So we have the things in place like the wall spikes to protect ourselves from that. As well as uh, we have a couple unique uh, placements for our anti-air traps because of uh, the space rocks at CM. So we have anti-air traps on top of the block off right here as well as right here. 
And then the, the two up here that we mentioned earlier. This is going to be because uh, the spot, like, the ant or the space rocks always land, like, right around here. Uh, and then right around where these two are. So we might as well just take them out. Uh, so they don't break our block off in case we get a late wave, um, like, random wave for our storm shield. But as well as we have those healing builds attached, uh, wooden floor uh, wall spikes, because uh, the assassin husks will target us. And they'll walk right over to these walls and just die hitting it. But another thing is the assassin husks might want to come up here, so we have a little piece of block off here. Uh, which I think we went over, but there's a ramp, uh, so if we come to this natural outcropping at the top of the ramp, there's going to be a wall with a ramp behind it, facing the north, and that's just going to be surrounded in walls. That's going to be underneath this anti-air trap. Then there's just going to be two walls here. This is going to serve a dual purpose, so flingers don't walk past that wall for our uh, sea amp, as well as uh, so assassin husks don't walk past these walls for uh, our little uh, storm shield amp. But that should be the storm shield. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like content like this, like the video. And if you uh, guys uh, think I should do anything better or what amp I should do next, comment on the video below. Subscribe to the channel. I come out with content like this, some Mythic Storm King content, some Dungeons content, whatever I really feel interested in. Um, also, I stream on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Mitch underscore Robs. I hope to see you guys there. I do a lot of Mythic Storm King help. I do a lot of mission help. I just do a lot of fun things. We have like a solo custom VR day and stuff like that that we do. Throw some tournaments, have a good community, as well as join my Discord channel. There should be a link in the description. That's where you can find a lot of the help you guys need, or if you guys have any questions for me, that's the best place to find me. But I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys and everything you guys have done for me. Happy 1,000 subscribers. All right, adios, guys.